In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for CaNO32 plus NaOH. That's calcium nitrate plus sodium hydroxide. First thing we need to do is to balance the molecular equation. That's the equation right here. I'm just going to put the coefficients here. I have a video how to balance this. If you need some help, there'll be a link in the description. That's balanced. So we've balanced our molecular equation, and now we write the states for each substance. So these two here are going to need to be dissolved in water in order to react. They're going to be aqueous. So we're just going to put AQ there. We can assume that's the case. On this side, we'll have to look these up on a solubility table or have memorized the solubility rules. We'll find that calcium hydroxide, that's considered insoluble. That means it's going to be a solid. And when the reaction takes place, these two, this double displacement reaction happens, we'll have calcium hydroxide. And since it's a solid, it'll fall to the bottom like a precipitate. Sodium nitrate, nitrates in general are soluble. We can look this up on a solubility table or just know that nitrates are soluble and that's going to be aqueous. It'll dissolve in water. So it'll be split apart in its ions when it's in water. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to split the soluble compounds, important here, the soluble compounds, the ones that say AQ, into their ions. And that'll give us the complete ionic equation. So to do that, it's helpful to look at the periodic table and have memorized the charges on the different ions. So you can see the trend on the periodic table for ionic charge. Calcium right here is 2 plus. Nitrate we don't have on the periodic table. We'll go back to that in a minute. Sodium group one that has a plus charge on it. And now we need to look up these polyatomic ions, which we don't find on the periodic table. For those, we can use a table of common polyatomic ions. Some teachers let you use this table. Others want you to memorize that. Check with your teacher. But we can find the NO3, the nitrate right here, NO3 minus. So that's a minus. And then OH, the hydroxide, that's down here, OH minus. It has a negative charge as well. So these are easy to do now. We know that Ca is 2 plus, hydroxide is negative, sodium plus, and then the nitrate, negative. Now we can get on with writing the total ionic equation. So soluble compounds, going to split them apart for the complete ionic equation. Ca2 plus, plus NO3 minus, and this 2 here means we have two of them. And since they're separate, their ions split apart, we put the two in front. Plus two Na plus, the sodium ion, plus two of the OH minus, the hydroxides. Those are the reactants. I'm going to shrink this a little bit. And then on the product side, remember we said soluble compounds. Soluble means it's AQ. It's dissolved in water. So calcium hydroxide has an S after it. It's a solid. So it won't break apart. So we're going to write CaOH2. We'll put our S after it there, solid. So it stays together. Then we have two sodium atoms and the two nitrates. Clean this up. And now we can cross out the spectator ions. And when we're done with that, we have our net ionic equation. Spectator ions, they appear on both sides of the equation. So we have Ca2 plus here. Over here, it's not alone. It's bonded to the hydroxides. So that's not a spectator ion. Nitrates, 2NO3 minus. Yeah, right there. We have them on both sides. Cross them out. 2Na plus, 2Na plus. Cross them out. The two hydroxides by themselves here, but in this case, they're bonded to the calcium. So now that we've crossed the spectator ions out, we just, what's left, that's the net ionic equation. And that looks like this. And this is the net ionic equation for CaNO3 2 plus NaOH, calcium nitrate plus sodium hydroxide. The reason we cross those spectator ions out is they're really not doing anything. We're interested in change. And we have two nitrates here, two here. They didn't change. Same with the sodium here and here. They've not changed. What has changed, the calcium has bonded to the hydroxides to form calcium hydroxide. That's a new substance. This is really why we write our net ionic equations. This is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for calcium nitrate plus sodium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.